King on Money Matters at 732. Disney's cracking down on strollers and wagons at the theme park, and Wells Fargo's CEO makes a surprise announcement. Bobby Rebell is joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning to you, Bobby. Welcome and happy Friday good to morning, you. Good morning, Jen. So, what's yes, going on, on with this surprise announcement from Wells Fargo's CEO? Well, the CEO, Tim Sloan, is retiring, and shares actually jumped on the news. Sloan had actually helped to clean up Wells Fargo after, ser after a series of scandals. Some had criticized, though, that it didn't go far enough, so change is in order. And you know, they say there's no better time to buy a house than right now, and mortgage rates just plunged at the fastest pace in a decade. Yeah, you're right. Well, and spring is a great time to look for a home. Rates for home loans, as you mentioned, have tumbled. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged just 4.06%. That, according to Freddie Mac, that was a 14-month low and the biggest weekly decline since June of 2009. So, Bobby, Netflix is the fastest-growing brand in 2019. I believe it. It is so popular. <laughs> I know. I think we're all contributing to it, probably. But that is true, according to the latest report on the most valuable brands of the U.S. by Brand Finance, with brand value growing by a whopping 105 percent over the past year to 21.2 billion. Netflix is set to play the lead role in home entertainment. By the way, guys, Amazon was the overall top brand in the U.S. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens now that Apple's getting into the streaming game. So we'll wait and see. And also with Game of Thrones coming on with HBO in a couple of weeks in their last season. So a bunch of things going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, Walt Disney is preparing for potentially record-breaking crowds when the Star Wars attractions open in coming months. But there's some changes people know about, especially for uh, smokers and people who wield strollers. Yeah, it's going to get crowded. So starting May 1st, the company is banning strollers larger than 31 inches wide. Wagons of any kind will no longer be allowed. And by the way, guys, Disney's also going to be banning smoking at both the Florida and California parks. Back to you. Interesting how the, the reaction among parents. I was just there last week, and there are a lot of those big strollers because yeah. you have more than one child. Oh, we have wagons, yep. right? Yeah, so, uh, yeah like, what yeah. if you have triplets or what if you're octomom? You know, I think I even I just had one kid and I love that stroller that you can rent from them. Yeah. It's a lifesaver. Those parks are big. And as far as smoking, I think they're going to set up smoking stations outside the park. So that's the answer for people who just absolutely have to light up. Bobby, thanks. Have a good weekend. You too.